Melina, EZC Film Girl. And it's official. I am back for my round four. I've actually started it. I'm on day two of loading. And that's going actually pretty decently. Uh, my last loading, I overdid it that first day and just was un uncomfortable on day two and had indigestion. <laughs> I am a dirty loader. Um, under normal circumstances, I don't eat wheat at all. I have a, a minor wheat allergy, which came on as I started gaining weight years ago, and I'm curious about if it's going to be something that I can, that isn't as much of a problem later on when I'm, I, I feel that having excess weight on your body uh, the fat, fat holds toxins, so I always feel that I'm more toxic as a bigger person and less toxic as a smaller person, as in, um, I think when you're less toxic, that it's possible, you know, not to have as many allergies. Um, I was pre-diabetic when I was close to 200. Um, that's gone, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, you're, you're healthier, you have less toxicity in you because you don't have as much fat cells holding all that bad stuff. So we'll see. I'm curious about that. But I do load dirty. Um, having your croissant a couple times a year is extremely <laughs> an extremely important event because um, they're so good and I don't eat them anymore. So I had, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so day two on loading... I'm on round four, and round one, two, and three were all done sublingual, and I am doing my very first round of, I like to call it shooting up, <laughs> uh, injecting. So Real HCG RX, although I ordered it from the site that HCG Chica recommends, so it's two 28-day bottles of, I think it's 5,000 IU. HCG. I just did what they told me to do on the instructions, and I think it is 5,000 uh, 5, IU. But it came really fast, so go to HCG Chica's um, page, and she has a link to her website, and you can order it through her. Um, and it's pretty uncomplicated. You get everything together. The um, diabetic type needles, which I did not, <laughs> I did not believe it. That they were unpainful, but they're so unpainful that the first two times I stuck it into my stomach, I didn't realize I'd stuck it in because I didn't feel it. So that was a little creepy. So it really doesn't hurt to um, inject with those tiny needles. You get the bacteriostatic water and the mixing syringe, and you get the HCG, and it's 28 day bottles. Um, which I think leaves you with extra in the end. Um, I'm going to do the protocol based on Dr. Simeon's protocol. They sort of describe the protocol a little differently on there, and I don't feel comfortable with their deal. But I do feel comfortable that this is good HCG. HCG Chica just used it on her last round. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So round four, um, uh, you all know that I am a disappearing act between rounds. Can't seem to get on and do videos <laughs> in between. So P3 and P4, I was mostly gone. Um, round three went pretty well for me in stabilizing for the first bit of time. Um, the mistakes I made in round three were starting the protocol way too far after Tom, and then kind of getting a Tom in the middle, but it, it was unclear that it was, you know, I was really, you know, what was really happening. And then on the end of my protocol, getting a Tom, and then not being able to stabilize after that. You know, because you're not supposed to wean off the protocol, and in fact, in the back of the protocol, it explains to you what to do if you get your period when you're supposed to be weaning off. And I, I didn't do that. I, I didn't even remember that it was there. This is why 
it's so good to read it over and over and over, especially before you start a round. But anyway, um, yeah, so I made some major mistakes hormonally and couldn't stabilize. End up doing um, a corrective round a few weeks after ending that round to stabilize. Um, and it appeared to work decently. But because I wasn't completely committed to doing a round three weeks after, you know, that whole 40-day thing, I kind of cheated. So I lost the weight I put on, but no more. Um, and, you know, I think probably screwed things up left and wise. I think HCG is really good for, if you do, if you do exactly what you're told to do, and you don't cheat in it during the round, you do reset your leptin and you do feel your body actually physically reacts differently to food. And in my first round, I was so perfect with, I wasn't 100% mop, a uh, pop, it was a little bit mop at the end with the yogurt. If you ever go back and see those videos, I did replaced one fruit a day with yogurt because I was going mental. <laughs> Um, it worked really well, and when I weaned off, there were no issues. Um, and so that sort of mop, but still very close to protocol, protocol worked well, and P3A stabilized really well. Um, I didn't have a hard time controlling my appetite that P3, whereas the two P3s, round two and round three, I had crazy um, out-of-control eating in P3. So I wouldn't weigh myself. I'd get freaked out and think I was gaining weight, weigh, weigh myself a week or two later, and, and everything would be okay because I was still kind of eating, because I was eating P3 foods, I was staying stable, even though I was overeating. But it was very mentally trying to do that. So did that corrective round in July, and then August was a great month as far as there were no gains, there was no issues. But I was working a lot, which you probably heard in my last video if you watched it. Um, and I was kind of doing that whole P3 overeating. So I wasn't weighing myself, I was overeating, but I wasn't gaining because I was doing P3. I just stayed in this extended P3 for like a month and a half. And then September happened. <sighs> September happened. Um, and I went on a really awesome vacation to Utah, and I hiked, and I'm going to put a couple pictures at the end, because it was the most amazing trip ever with one of my friends. The two of us got together, and she flew in from New York, I flew in from L.A., and we had an amazing little road trip and hike. Fantastic trip. But I went into P4 and kind of ate how I wanted. We were hiking five to seven to ten miles a day. And I thought I could kind of get away with eating what I wanted. I'm not 100% sure that I did because I got back and I continued to not weigh myself and then continued to eat P4. So when I finally got up enough courage to weigh myself, late September, early October, I was a good six, seven pounds above LDW, if not higher. Um, started another job and just kind of was like, I'm, I'm not going to, I think I was like, LDW is 146, I think I was like 152 at that point. And I thought, you know, let me just kind of try and P3 this back into control, which works for me a lot. Didn't work this time because I didn't P3, I got on this crazy job and I would eat really great P3, but kind of high fat, and then at the end of the night, you know, have a coffee with some sugar in it. And I just think that little bit of sugar just sets you off. It, P3 works because it doesn't have sugar in it. High fat, high protein works because there's no sugar. If you're going to have sugar, you've got to rebalance, you know, the foods that you're eating. So that didn't work. Um, went through a little depression as well during these times. Um, did get an amazing job also. But, you know, get, getting amazing jobs doesn't always make you happy. Doesn't always fix the other problems you have in your life. And I, I was definitely, there was some emotional food eating going on. 
Um, so long story short, I'm starting round four pretty high. Uh, my LDW, like I said, was 146, and I started my round around 156, 157, right around there. So it was frustrating. I had done a little dieting in early November and got my weight back down to like 154-ish, but just couldn't stay there. Um, the highest I got was 159, so I got myself down to 154. Um, and, I, and I stayed there, 154, 156, for the last few weeks. And I just had to accept that that was what was going to happen. Did Thanksgiving, kind of didn't go too crazy, and then started my round. <laughs> just got my Tom. It just ended three days ago, four days ago. So this is literally like probably the most perfectly timed one. So we'll see how it goes.